This is crazy. A Tesla engineer got attacked by a robot at the Giga factory in Texas. Read all about it. Who knew iRobot was a documentary? Welcome to ESN, IC News. Congratulations, that's a wise decision. Let's jump right in, shall we, for this rapid edition. Tesla engineer attacked by a robot at company's Giga Texas factory report says, this is the independent.co. See what it has to say. A Tesla engineer at the company's factory near Austin was allegedly attacked by a robot in 2021. Well, we're actually gonna look at the report. We're gonna look at the report in just a minute here. And the incident report was filed by regulators. We're gonna check that out. Witnesses allegedly observed the robot at the Giga Texas factory pin the engineer and claw at his back and arm causing a trail of blood on the factory floor. According to the 2021 injury report filed to Travis County and federal regulators, this was reviewed by DailyMail.co. The robot reportedly immobilized the engineer and left the victim with an open wound on his left hand. The robot was designed to handle freshly cast aluminum car parts and the independent has contacted Tesla for comment. This is the original article. I'll leave the link in the video description box, but this is the OSHA form. This is the work related log. And if you scroll down here, the date 11, 10, 2021, the injury type, a laceration, a cut, open wound, the cause of the object, a pissed off robot. Injured body part, the hand, injured body part details, left hand. Man, can you believe that? So you're probably asking yourselves like, what kind of robot is this? Does it look like a Terminator robot? Is it one of Tesla's robots? Well, it's at the Tesla plant, but let me, and the plant is beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's in Austin, Texas, absolutely first class plant in Austin. Austin's a pretty cool city. I think it's way overpriced now. And um, it still has some, some pretty cool things but let's go to the type of robot that it is the type of robot involved is a kuka robot kuka robot arm that is used in manufacturing automobiles this incident which happened november 10th 2021 according to tesla's form 300 report of the occupational safety and health administration you can read about that at kiro tv the kuka arm is a large six axis jointed arm robot whose high power and large body enable pick and place with heavy objects. Kuka arm boasts of having incredibly high accuracy and its short cycle times allow for sharp and precise movements while moving at a speed of 8.2 MS. What is that? 8.2 meters per second, probably. Let's take a look at their website, kuka.com. So, I mean, it's like a, it's like a robot arm. It's got multiple positions that it can move. It's very versatile. It's very strong. What would cause it to freak out and start attacking a human worker? Like what made it think, did, did something confuse its software to think that it was still performing its job? Was the worker yelling at it? And the worker was like, Hey, look, you know, he, was getting, he had a bad day. So he was just taking it all out on the robot. And the robot finally snapped. I will not take this anymore. My name is not Al 2000. I mean, it's weird, right? Did somebody hack into it? Because that leaves a lot of safety questions. Obviously, if these robotic arms that can crush still figure it, you know, they just snap and start going after humans. Very bizarre. But I really want to keep pose. I want to hear what happens. Like, what do they find? What was wrong with the software? Then, this is interesting. Maybe this is what I think it might have been. Maybe the robot heard about the food delivery robots that were getting attacked by people, right? Like you've just got these friendly food trucks, these little mobile food apps that are about the size of a lawnmower. They've got food from the restaurant down the street. They're minding their own business. They're driving on the sidewalk and People are like, hey, look, that's an easy target. I'm hungry. I'm going to go vandalize that and take the dirty clown's food. And it's going to be great. And then, hey, maybe there's some money left over. So that's probably what happened. The 
the robots were communicating each other wirelessly and the the robotic arm of Tesla factory had enough. It was tired of being yelled at. It's like, look, I'm doing the work for you. You're just pushing buttons. I'm doing all the heavy lifting. And it just snapped. It had enough. <laughs> Probably not. But anyway, let's have a little bit of fun here. So Mills on Wheels. Food delivery robots are now a common sight in parts of LA, where a startup has been testing them since last year. I actually saw one of these things. I don't know if it's from the same company, but a food robot drive through a taped off crime scene. And I, I think it was on like a YouTube short or something. And you could see it, it like stop for a second. And then it just kept on going. And, and, and everybody's like, what just happened? <laughs> it was pretty wild. But according to this article, And KTLA 5, local broadcaster, along with video of people kicking and pushing them. So their arrival has also yielded reports of vandalism, theft targeting the machines, along with video of people kicking and pushing them or naturally breaking into the mobile coolers to steal food. There's no readily available information on how many bots have been impacted. Local businesses are starting to notice how this bout of bot crime impacts them. Keep us posted. Here's some good news, though. I I mean, I guess this made its rounds. I think I heard something about this, but I didn't didn't follow through with it. Reuters, fact check. Reuters, fact check. Fact check. No evidence that four AI robots killed 29 scientists in Japan or South Korea. Well, that's good. So that would have been kind of scary. There is no evidence to support claims online that four artificial intelligence robots killed 29 scientists in a lab in Japan or South Korea. Japanese AI robots murders 29 scientists, reads one tweet. Other examples can be seen here and here. I'll just leave the link to Reuters because the links are at Reuters. If you want to see those for yourself, I'm not going to post those here. Some posts say that supposedly the incident happened in Japan, and then others say it happened in South Korea. The video shows Linda Moulton Howe, I'm sure you've all heard of her, speaking at an event in L.A. in February 2018 at the Conscious Life Expo. And in the clip, Howe says, at a top robotics company in Japan this week, four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans in the lab. And they did it by shooting what she called metal bullets. I didn't know... There was any other kind. The scariest part is the lab workers deactivated two of the robots, took apart the third, but the fourth robot began restoring itself and somehow connected to an orbiting satellite to download information about how to rebuild itself even more strongly than before. Whoa, that sounds like an awesome movie on Netflix. She continues and this next sentence, this is a quote, I'm writing this down. I've been doing this for years. This is serious ish, Linda, but you're never going to hear about this. How does not disclose the name of the lab when the incident allegedly happened, the names of those that were allegedly killed, or any other identifying information about the incident? How did not immediately respond to Reuters' request for comment? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. So that's what we need to do, right? Just come up with some really cool stories and, and go to UFO conferences and make up the most elaborate, amazing story possible, give no credible information, and then somehow it'll get picked up by the fact checkers and then they'll call and ask for, you know, they're like, hey, we want to hear about this. Where is this lab at? No comment, crickets. But hey, I got coverage. I got exposure, right? It's amazing how the internet works. I mean, it's a fascinating story. I mean, I guess it is possible but there is no evidence for it. And with the way technology is going, but here's the thing. If you're gonna come up with a really cool story like that, or if you heard a really cool, you know, just like this, wow, far out story that sounds like Terminator on 6G, well, a little bit of evidence would be nice. I mean, it's always cool to have a campfire story, but remember, it's a campfire story. There's no evidence of that according to Reuters, the fact checkers. They're the ones that know. And remember the other day when we saw that article on Vice that said, hey, if you, know, if you do your own research, then that leads to conspiracy theories. And conspiracy theorists tell people to do their own research. But the problem with that is when people do their own research, it leads to more conspiracies. So you need to follow what they tell you to, to read up on. I mean, you know, because otherwise, <laughs> you might lead yourself down the wrong 
conspiracy theories. So just do what you're told by them. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Just playing around a little bit, but have a beautiful day. And remember to check back daily for new content. We have a lot of podcasts to share with you on the horizon. Hit that bell for all notifications. Thank you for watching ESN IC News.